And Sarah Wilson talked to school officials about how they plan to proceed. She joins us live in studio with more. Sarah, good evening. Good evening, Paige. Yes, Senior Vice Chancellor Lance Tatum says commencement will happen, but students and attendees can expect these changes. Uh, we won't hand out portfolios uh, as they cross the stage. Uh, they'll already have those uh, in their seat when they get there. Uh, they'll be wearing masks until they get to the stage. Uh, everything about the ceremony is, is different than what it would have been. Traditionally, Troy has one ceremony combining both undergrad and graduate students from every college, but this time there will be three separate ceremonies. According to Tatum, this will allow the university to keep the number of students, but at a smaller number. There are also plans to practice social distancing by limiting the amount of guests graduates can bring. Guests will also be spread out. Um, I think that they're following a lot of safety precautions that are necessary and they're making sure that it is um, a very safe environment for people to come and join and be able to view that. So I think they're doing everything that they can to make sure that it runs very smoothly. Many students like Nicole say the commencement should go as planned. Jay Joan says due to students being uprooted from their final months of their senior experience, this will give students a sense of hope and help them feel as if they are beginning a new chapter of life. You know, we, we are doing uh, all that we can to make sure that we maintain all the protocols that need to be in place for people to come, experience this celebration, and then do it in a safe uh, manner. Finally, one of the biggest changes to come is the addition of masks that graduates have to wear. That probably will be one of the biggest changes people see as soon as they